fitness industry, which you must understand is when you do sell your soul, you are allowed to live forever. Mm. And these people that are called youngins, rookies, newbies, I would have no idea that these people still live. Mm. Orlando Brown is becoming the talk of the town once again, as he has allegedly exposed the hidden agendas in Hollywood. It seems like he is coming at the people who are being unfair and unjust to other artists in the industry. However, that's not the main headline. Orlando Brown has garnered the support of many fans along with the iconic comedian, who has never shied away from exposing Hollywood truth, the one and only Cat Williams. Really? You coming after my kids now? Because it was already a witch hunt. Now you want my babies? Yikes. Buckle up, guys, because these two are about to shake up the industry and hold troublemakers accountable. Many fans are well aware of the fact that Orlando Brown has been revealing truths about Hollywood for a long. He has remained determined to call out those people in Hollywood who are lurking in the shadows, saving themselves from trouble. They will pray, haunt, anything to stay on top. This is their world. They have nothing but time is what they believe. No. Orlando Brown gained fame for his roles in TV sitcoms like That's So Raven and The Proud Family, as well as appearing in movies like Major Pain and Straight Outta Compton. However, in recent years, he's faced challenges with mental health and substance abuse and has made some unusual and unsettling claims about celebrities like Nick Cannon, Will Smith, Michael Jackson, and Justin Bieber. <laughs> The discussion about Orlando Brown's mental health is important to consider. His interviews show signs of a troubled individual, possibly struggling with substance abuse. People speculate about what caused his substance use and erratic behavior. Some wonder if his alleged traumatic experiences led him down this destructive path. Brown's track record of making sensational claims during interviews has understandably led many to doubt his credibility. Skeptics point to his erratic behavior and statements as reasons not to trust him. However, what if, even just for a moment, we entertain the idea that there could be truth to what he's saying? Growing up in Hollywood, Orlando faced challenges that worsened his mental health as he spoke out about its truths, facing backlash along the way. One of the people Orlando has been desperate to expose is P. Diddy. One of Orlando Brown's most shocking accusations is that Diddy coerced him into a relationship where Brown was manipulated. Brown asserts that Diddy exploited his vulnerability during his youth, coercing him into engaging in s acts in exchange for promises of fame and wealth. Additionally, Brown alleges that Diddy was affiliated with a secret society of influential Hollywood insiders who target young individuals for exploitation. Brown claims to have witnessed numerous distressing incidents within the industry. For a while, Orlando Brown spoke out about his alleged mistreatment by Diddy, but many dismissed him as dishonest or unstable. However, when Cassie Ventura, Diddy's former girlfriend, filed a lawsuit against him for SA and battery, and others stepped forward with similar accusations against Diddy and other Hollywood figures, more people began to take Orlando's claims seriously, questioning whether there might be validity to his story. Recently, Sean Diddy Combs made head Lines when singer Cassie filed a lawsuit against him, alleging physical A. However, the lawsuit was settled on November 21st, and news of this settlement has been circulating online. In the midst of this, an old video of Orlando Brown discussing Diddy has resurfaced. The video, originally shared in 2022 during an interview with Cam Capone News, shows Brown making unusual sounds while talking about the rapper. This quirky moment from the interview has caught the attention of internet users, sparking jokes and discussions online. In the viral video, Orlando claims, I got in my Diddy mode, I'm sorry, I started licking my lips. Yo Diddy, you gave me the oosh gosh goof wash. In my Diddy mode, I'm sorry, I started licking my lips. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yo Diddy, you gave me the oosh gosh goof wash. Orlando Brown has taken to social media to share numerous videos where he exposes Diddy and accuses him of various crimes. He asserts that he possesses evidence, including photos and videos, to support his allegations. Brown declares his lack of fear towards Diddy and his influence, expressing readiness to confront him in court. Additionally, he emphasizes his pursuit of justice not only for himself, but also for all the other victims impacted by the darker aspects of Hollywood. Orlando Brown's claims are upsetting, but he's not the only one talking about essay and exploitation in Hollywood. Other former child stars like Corey Feldman, Elijah Wood, and Evan Rachel Wood have also shared their stories. They claim that powerful people in Hollywood M or R them. They've also said there's a pattern of keeping quiet and hiding what happens to protect the A and keep victims from speaking out. If you thought that was the extent of Orlando's accusations against Hollywood elites, 
you're in for a surprise. In January 2020, Brown shared a video where he made another shocking claim, alleging that TV personality and actor Nick Cannon once performed oral S on him. In the video, Orlando can be heard making this accusation. Don't worry about it, Nick. Nick, okay, fine. You want me to tell everybody. You want me to let everybody know what happened. Okay, fine. Nick, I let you th my D, okay? Fine, I'll say it. I let Nick th my D and I liked it. Nick, you th my D, but everybody knows you did it as a female. As expected, Nick quickly stepped up to defend himself and clarify the situation. In a detailed Instagram post, Nick Cannon expressed his view that Orlando's video was a cry out for help. He urged those close to Orlando to assist him in getting the support necessary to address any mental health concerns he may have. Cannon's post emphasized his concern for Orlando's well-being. When I first saw this, I thought it was effing hilarious. But then, after putting a little cognitive effort and analytical thought to the situation, I figured what a great opportunity for a teachable moment. First off, let me say I am praying for the young brother Orlando, even though I don't really know him personally, I have always loved and enjoyed his talent and have been a fan of his past work. He was effing brilliant in Major Pain and had us all laughing on that So Raven. But this is another crucial example of when we allow our young artists to be prematurely exposed by this demonic business and left out to fend for themselves. We need better support systems for our youth and take care of our own. In any case, Orlando Brown isn't the first person to accuse these Hollywood elites of alleged misconduct or even of being attracted to men. Rumors and accusations Diddy have circulated for years. Orlando even revealed Cat Williams' feud with Kevin Hart. The two have been in a feud for years, exchanging jabs both online and in interviews. Their ongoing conflict has been a subject of public interest, spanning several years. Kevin Hart did, in order to be where he's at. Now, I don't know if it was Kevin that pissed him off. I don't know who it was that pissed him off. But I do understand that uh, the comedy world is nothing to play with. While Williams claimed and took a swipe at heart, implying that he's an industry insider who fabricated stories about the start of his career, Orlando explained what's really going on between the two. Some people just don't have the, the kind of respect for Kat that they should have. Um, Orlando alleged that Kevin has been upsetting many people with his jokes, including senior artists like Kat. Kevin's behavior has caused a lot of frustration among people in the industry. This feud between Kevin and Kat isn't just about comedy. It's been brewing for a while. According to Orlando, there are always specific things that bother people, and it's not just random. Kevin been pissing off a lot of people, you know, comedically. You know what I'm saying? Recently, Cat Williams supported Orlando's allegations by revealing information about the same individuals that Orlando has been exposing for a while. Williams is known not only for his comedy, but also for being a whistleblower in Hollywood. He's spoken out about different issues and controversies in the entertainment world, bringing attention to things that are often ignored or overlooked. All of these, uh, deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you did it or whoever you. Williams revealed that there's a secret group called the Illuminati, which many people in the black community strongly oppose. The Guardian also seemed to support his claim by mentioning the society's name and its important members. It is the most elite club in the world. This is the Good Club, the name given to the tiny global elite of billionaire philanthropists. The names of some of the members are familiar figures. Bill Gates, George Soros, Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, David Rockefeller, and Ted Turner. But there are others too, like business giants Eli and Edith Broad, who are equally wealthy but less well-known. While Williams exposed the main parts of the agenda supposedly created by the elites, he also cautions other black artists to be wary of getting involved with the club. It's not uh, necessary for us to store up that hornet's nest unless we intend to get stung a million times. Cat Williams, famous for his edgy comedy, recently shared a shocking personal story involving rap mogul Diddy. During an interview with Vlad TV, Williams recounted an unsettling experience where he felt uncomfortable due to Diddy's advances. Many sources have reported that while Williams attended a party at Diddy's luxurious mansion, expected to mingle with fellow celebrities. However, he noticed something strange. There were no women at the party, only men. Feeling uncomfortable, Williams tried to leave, but Diddy kept pressuring him, making suggestive comments and offering him a suspicious drink. Sensing trouble, Williams declined the drink and firmly told Diddy he wasn't interested. He made it clear, regardless of Diddy's status, saying, I am not gay and I am not going to sleep with you. 
However, Diddy seemed taken aback and upset by Williams' rejection. He even tried to intimidate Williams by threatening his career. But Williams wasn't scared and stood firm, saying he had nothing to fear. I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to buy. For years, Kat has been giving interviews that stir up controversies. It's no secret that in Hollywood, many black rappers have been and Cat Williams has strong opinions about this. According to Cat, these rappers aren't dying by accident, but rather someone is intentionally targeting them. He believes that people pay others to harm these rappers so they can benefit themselves and advance their own careers by eliminating competition. Something sticks out to make sure that's not it. Mm -hmm. They have an idea that there's a messiah coming and they're not sure who it's. Additionally, Cat has pointed out the racism that has been going on in the industry for long. Cat shared his thoughts on the controversy surrounding Kevin Hart wearing a dress in his SNL skit. He noted that Kevin wasn't alone in this, as Eddie Murphy and Jamie Foxx were also involved. Very, very clear. It is possible that there isn't anything funnier than a guy in a dress. Kat pointed out the irony that many found it funny to see a black man in a dress, a reaction unlikely to be the same if it were white actors. Despite Kevin's success, Kat hinted that Kevin must have had his reasons for doing it, and he respects his choice. Kat suggested that many artists face similar challenges repeatedly in their careers. From his observations, it's possible that someone higher up is targeting black icons to tarnish their image in the public eye. Thanks to these individuals who have been speaking out relentlessly, even risking their safety, to expose the hidden truth behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. More and more people are becoming aware of these issues and are motivated to bring about change. We can only hope that Hollywood will soon become a safer and cleaner place for future passionate individuals who want to work in the industry. A user said, y'all don't get it. He has to seem crazy so he won't be shunned by the powers that be. That's it for today's video guys. Thanks for watching.